the time has come to introduce our guest for tonight. Yeah. So, welcome to today's episode. This is The Late Night with Dr. Realiza, featuring up close and personal with the radiation chemists. Meet the inventors of life-saving hemostatic granules and dressing for quick control of traumatic bleeding. They are Ms. Bean Jeremiah Barba, Science Research Specialist 2, Radiation Chemist and Technologist, Material Scientist. And we have Ms. Lorna Relieve, Senior Science Research Specialist, Radiation Chemist and Technologist, Material Scientist. And also Ms. Cha Tranquilian, Scientist 1, Radiation Chemist and Technologist, Material Scientist and Engineer. The said technology won the first Lika Award for Outstanding Public Funded Creative Research during the Regional Invention Contest and Exhibit RISE 2021. This is an opportune time to know the activities of the scientists of the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute of the Department of Science and Technology. So, let us first watch these videos for us to explore them. Life-saving hemostatic granules and dressing for quick control of traumatic bleeding. Uncontrolled hemorrhage remains the leading cause of preventable pre-hospital death after civilian and military trauma. Every year, 1.2 million people die from vehicular accidents from all over the world due to traumatic bleeding. A study by the Division of Trauma of the Philippine General Hospital showed an alarming 66% of trauma patients from such incidents die within the first 24 hours because of examination. Stopping severe bleeding remains a challenge as not all wounds can be treated by a simple application of pressure and tourniquet. With emergency support often too far away, a person may bleed to death within 5 minutes to 2 hours without intervention. With this race against time, fast and effective emergency treatment is needed in saving lives. Hemostatic agents or hemostats are a widely used first aid measure to control excessive bleeding. While there are hemostat products in the global market, they are imported at prohibited prices for single-use packs. And so, they are bought sparingly, if at all, by our hospitals and military. In support of the healthcare sector, our team at the Chemistry Research Section of the DOSD Philippine Nuclear Research Institute pioneered the research on hemostatic agents from radiation-processed polymeric materials, which can stop traumatic bleeding in emergency situations. Radiation processing harnesses the power of ionizing radiation to induce chemical modifications without the need for chemical additives, toxic solvents, and energy-intensive synthetic conditions. At the same time, the products are sterilized against pathogens for product safety and stability. In this study, funded by the DOSD Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, Optimizations led to the development of two prototypes, the polyethylene oxide kappa carrageenan blend hemostat dressing and the carboxymetal cellulose hemostat granules. AQ solutions of these polymers cross-link upon exposure to ionizing radiation, forming three-dimensional hydrogel networks. When placed in the wound, the hemostat absorbs blood fluids, swells, gels, and sticks together to form a mechanical clog that seals the wound and effectively stops the bleeding. These hydrogels retain their inherent biocompatibility, proving to be non-irritating and non-toxic with a shelf life of more than one year. The hemostat products were subjected to preclinical efficacy trials on sprayed dolly rats 
using four bleeding models. Femoral incision with moderate bleeding, aortic incision with severe high pressure bleeding, leg stab wound with severe bleeding, and surgical bleeding from nephrectomy. In all cases, the developed products performed on par, if not better than a well-known commercial product. The market standard contains lightweight particles that spread across the wound site, causing inflammation and adhesions that lead to additional mortality. In contrast, CMC granules clump together while PEO casein dressing remains intact as they block the wound efficiently with minimal to no adhesions, higher survivability rates, and faster clotting times. Depending on the wound severity, hemostasis was achieved within 1 to 5 minutes of an application without substantial pressure. The developed hemostat prototypes will soon be undergoing clinical safety and efficacy studies to support technology transfer, FDA registration, and commercialization. Preliminary market analysis shows the developed technologies to be 30 to 60 times cheaper than market alternatives. Localization of hemostat products can fill the much-needed gap in the country's healthcare sector supports enhanced capacity for biomedical technology generation and adoption, and stimulates innovation towards achieving our Ambition 2040 and Sustainable Development Goals. CMC granules and PEO case addressing hemostats, life-saving technologies for Filipino people. Alright, napakaganda naman, no? Kakaiba. So, let us actually, um, this time, let us give the virtual floor to welcome Miss Bean. Hi, Miss Bean. Good evening. Hello, po. Good evening, Miss Ria and Miss Ella. Good evening, po. And let us also welcome Miss Lorna and Miss Cha. Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening, moms. Good evening. Good evening, mga empowered women. Yeah. Mam, um, naka-mute yung iyong... Naka-mute. Okay, parang yeah. naka... Good evening, Doc Ria and Miss Ella. Good evening po, Mam Cha. And the uh, three uh, of you... Uh, uh, by the way, us... Ella, yung... Yeah. Yung technology nila yung tomalo sa akin. <laughs> so, wow! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sabi nga ni, sabi nga ni Dr. Caster, tumaob daw ako. Taob. Alam mo, Ella, lahat ng sinalihan ko, ako yung grand winner. Except itong, eh, ano na to, competition na to. Talaga naman, pag nakita mo naman yung kanilang, ano, technology. Really, ano, really very impactful technology. Okay, grabe. Impressive naman nakita ko yung video kanina. Kakaiba talaga siya. So, with that, Ma'am Ria, um, let us hear them and introduce themselves one by one. So, Miss Bean, you go first. Okay. Uh, hello po everyone. I'm Bean Jeremiah Barba. Uh, pero most people call me Jamie, kahit sa office. Kasi medyo mahirap. Mahirap yung Bean Jeremiah. So, Jamie po. And then, I've been working at PNRI since I graduated from college. So, almost 10 years now. And I'm a science research specialist in the chemistry research section under the atomic research division ng DOST Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. And supervisor ko po si Ms. Chat Aranilia and uh, senior si Mom Lorna Relieve. So, passing the baton po to them. <laughs> okay po. Ayan. Thank you po, Ma'am Jeremiah. Jeremy, ayan po yan. Yan po yung preferred niya. So, this time, let's go to Ma'am Lorna. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Lorna Relieve, a senior science research specialist, also from the chemistry research section. Um, 
I've been with the Institute for almost 30 years. Wow. Yeah. Ang sipag ni Ma'am Lorna. And uh, of course, uh, let's also, we have Ma'am Cha. Uh, yes, good evening to all the viewers of the Feminine Genius and to my colleagues Lorna and Jamie and Bakri and Ella. I'm Chat Aranilia, also from the Chemistry Research Section of um, the OST PNRI. So, magkakasama kami sa section ni Lorna at ni Jamie. So, I am a chemist by profession. So, I had my um, BS Chemistry degree in I took it in Central Escolar University and, and my MS uh, chemistry degree at the University of Santa Tomas Graduate School. So, uh, kagaya ng, ni Lorna, matagal na rin ako sa PNRI. I've been uh, um, a regular employee since 1995. So, imagine uh, more, than, more than 25 years na rin ako sa PNRI. Ella, no? <clears throat> Ang tatagal na nila mga ano sila? Loyal. Loyal, yes ma'am. That's the right Ako term. si yung pinaka naranasan ko is pinaka longest is 18 years sa Lyceum of the Philippines University. Oh. Pero talagang grabe yung babaet ng may-ari. Meron lang kasi yung policy na 20 years in service you have to retire. Mm, okay. So I do early retirement, 18, 20 I just did not wait na for two years. May mga ganun, no? some things never last. But if it's, if it's different from government, because uh, you can continue on with your service until 65. No? Yeah, yes, 65. Yeah, until 65. Okay, so syempre si Ma'am Ria, kung naka-18 years, naka-13 years pa lang po ako, Ma'am Ria. <laughs> Yun ang pinakamatagal po sa akin. <laughs> so, marami pa akong kakainin bigas. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Ma'am Ria, Dr. Ria, do I need to proceed now on this? Um, I think <clears throat> we will discuss first the technology. Alright, sige ma'am. 